This is Will Schneider. Let's talk about some of the growing pains as you develop your meditation practice. You know, so maybe it's like, oh, like I, I'm meditating for a while and it feels really great, but sometimes it doesn't feel great and I get lost and I'm not having these feelings like I did early on, right? These are some of the growing pains of meditation or it's like, oh, I don't, my seat is all this or that, right? So let's talk about one of the big ones is detachment. Don't attach yourself to results in your meditation. Just because you find something great on Monday in your meditation or a feeling or something that comes up doesn't mean it's going to be like that on Tuesday or the rest of the week or you might never experience that again. There's a, there's a the first universal principle of how everything is designed in the universe is impermanence. Everything is changing all the time. Meditation is going to help us get into the flow and be with that impermanence so we can shift and change with the world around us because it's changing all the time. So it's going to be a huge teacher meditation, right, about detaching. Next is to objectify the experience. Step back, zoom out, right? This zooming out and objectifying helps us to become aware of our thinking, our feelings, and everything that comes along with them. Next one is baby step into your practice, right? Baby steps, like one, that's why I suggest starting at like about seven to eight minutes a day to start your practice. And that could be for several weeks and then add like another minute or two minutes as you get more comfortable with your practice. Again, baby step. 20 minutes might be a lot in the beginning, especially if you've never med meditated before or even tried to sit still before for that amount of time. So work into that 20 minute goal of meditating every day. Next one is finding your seat. I really suggest as you sit and meditate to sit up. Instead of leaning or lying down, sit up. Because as we sit up, we're calling ourselves into attention. We're kind of calling ourselves into our practice. Like you don't lie down and paint and play piano or go running. Like meditation is no difference. It has a certain posture or a way that you sit. And sometimes that seat is going to be uncomfortable. Right? But that's it's going to, you're going to bring more strength to your body, more awareness to the strength that you need in your body in order to sit more comfortably. And it might take a long time to find that seat. So be patient with that. Also, it's going to help you to know stillness. Like, what is on the inside? Like, like and this, like sitting and meditating, we get to see and get to know the source of all, which is this crazy stillness that is uh, the, like the little sound in between the words I'm speaking, the sounds in between, or you know, the emptiness that happens between the music that is played. That's stillness. And we get to be and understand the source of stillness by meditating. Also, be patient. Be patient with your practice. Every day is going to be different. But also, as I, I, I like to teach when I'm, when I'm teaching or my own practice as well, work intentionally. So we have the intention, the focus, and what we're working on. Work patiently and be compassionate with yourself when like, you're kind of falling out of your meditation with all this thinking or you miss a day. Just keep coming back. The more persistent and diligent that you continually take on this practice when you're actually doing it, great but also to come back day after day after day. And overall, meditation is going to help us establish a new reference point to more stillness, to more peace, and more harmony. And that's when all these wonderful benefits that I described in another video starts to come through. So I just hope these growing pains, right, and being aware of them will help you continually access and tap and continually work on your meditation practice every single day. So thank you again for listening. This is Will Schneider. We're working with many corporations already here in the city. So we'd love to help your company, your community, your corporation understand mindfulness on a very meaningful and simplified level. So give us a call. Thanks for listening. Peace.